Welcome back to Virtual. In this episode, I'm going to compare UE5's virtual shadow maps to the old shadow maps. Stay tuned until the end for two navigation tips. Thanks to all the comments we received on our previous video, it helped us out a lot. The reason we didn't have uh, virtual shadows enabled in our scene was because we converted it from a UE 4.26 to UE 5 and uh, we had to enable lumen, uh, some of the nanite features and the virtual shadow maps which were not enabled. Um, so to enable virtual shadow maps you go to project settings type in shadow scroll down to shadow map methods and enable virtual shadow map let me just close this so that I can toggle it on and off and show you the difference so firstly uh, the contact shadows on just the default shadow maps uh, they made poor contact with uh, the leg of the chair, um, some of the legs on the tables, and so on. We also found that they were, like the, the entire shadow is blurred. There's no crisp shadows at contact point. And... Um, realistic shadows would have a crisp shadow close to contact point and then fade out the further it goes. So here is the shadow maps, the old shadow maps, and this is virtual shadow maps. Much more crisp, and as you can see, the further the shadow uh, goes from this mannequin, the softer it becomes. Um, here's another example. super soft everywhere not proper contact and then you go to shadow maps virtual shadow maps and you get the super crisp um, shadows also if you don't use the virtual shadow maps but want to use normal shadow maps you can check out our previous video to see how you can improve the normal virtual shadow maps I mean the normal shadow maps. Um, also if you wanted to increase the amount of blurs from contact point, uh, go to your source light and look for your source angle and then if you increase your source angle uh, the further the shadow is away the, from the mannequin here in this case, um, the softer it becomes. And the contact point still stays relatively crisp. Um, one thing we did notice, and I don't know if it's just our models or the actual virtual shadow maps in UE5 is the jaggeds, the jaggy edges on some of these straight edges. For instance, this wooden plank here, the jagged edges are quite severe and if you go to the cloth, um, ref uh, cloth shadows on the aeroplane they cast quite uh, severe jagged edges. I'm not quite sure why. Um, so if anyone has a solution to this, please comment below. I really want to know why this is um, cause. What's the cause of this? Um, another thing I found with um, the virtual shadow maps 
was the subsurface scattering materials that I put on to this um, cloth here. Uh, as you can see, it's based on distance and it doesn't quite um, capture all the, the light through the cloth. Let me give you an example. If I put this back to shadow maps, ah, it crashed. <laughs> Sorry about that. The um, project crashed on me. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, um, the one issue I found with the virtual shadow maps and the subsurface scattering was the way the light um, comes through the cloth and the shadows which aren't quite as realistic in my opinion um, this is um, screen this is uh, shadow maps and this is virtual shadow maps as you can see the shadow maps have more realistic lighting coming through the cloth whereas the virtual shadow maps um, don't have the lighting as accurate and also it moves according to the camera the viewport camera and you looking at the piece of cloth like so uh, whereas the normal shadow maps just stay consistent whether you move or not um, as well as here there is direct sunlight on this part that part sh shadow here and shadow there so if you come below this the normal shadow maps have looks quite accurate um, with a um, subsurface scattering but as soon as you switch to virtual shadow maps then you get this um, weird looking shadows and they move again according to the angle and distance from the surface um, but that's uh, you don't always use uh, subsurface scattering so it might not be a problem to everybody but again if you have a solution to fixing any of these jaggeds on the shadow edges um, please let me know in the comments below because it's a fix that I would really um, appreciate having all in all the virtual shadow maps are really good we did end up using them in our production um, another video that you can check out on our channel bonus tips um, if you in UE5 if you press control spacebar it brings up the content browser and if you click control spacebar again then uh, it drops it down again and if you are flying in your scene with uh, W, S and D then by just scrolling up with a um, scroll wheel and scrolling down increases the movement speed of the camera uh, which I found quite useful when yeah, instead of going to the camera speed and setting this all the time. Thanks for watching. Let's chat in the comments below.